In chapter 1 of the book of Colossians, the Apostle Paul, well, he opens with a greeting, a greeting of blessing, of grace, and peace. And then he reminds those in Colossus of all the things, the attributes, the characteristics that people need to, to grow, to move forward, to be established in the Lord. And he's praying for them. He tells them over and over again, I'm praying for you. And, and then he mentions this in verse 9. He says, For this reason, we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled. And, and then he mentions three things. With the knowledge of his will, in all wisdom, and spiritual understanding. He mentions knowledge, which is kind of like information that you get from reading the scriptures or listening to a teacher, things more cerebral, if you will, that you begin to understand. And then he says wisdom, which, which I think is taking the knowledge you have and applying it maybe to, to your life, to practical issues, to, okay, I have this wisdom, how do I apply it? And then he mentions something even different that's kind of difficult to understand. He calls it spiritual wisdom. And I thought, what, what is spiritual wisdom? I think it's those things that God reveals to you that you could never know just by your own intellect or by study or seeing other people. It's something that the Lord reveals to your heart, maybe about Him, maybe about His Word, maybe about your own heart. And things that you can't see unless the Holy Spirit reveals it to you. He says, I would want you to have knowledge, wisdom, and spiritual wisdom. These are the things that Paul is praying for those in Colossus, that they might continue to grow, they might continue to push forward, they might continue to grow up in the Lord and become all that he wants them to be.